Okay, hello everybody, I'm back. And I'm not set up. We're gonna make it work. I am going to try to do a hand of nails with this peel off base coat and peel it off, hopefully. Let me get this out of the shot. Oh, you know what? I didn't turn on my other light over here. Is this lighting good, y'all think? Pretty good, hopefully. Maybe even better now. Okay. So, I don't wanna do that much prep. I don't feel like it. I'm thinking about you doing the blue and gold, right? Okay, hold on. Let me get a cuticle for sure. I'm trying to find a cuticle pusher, and I cannot find it. I'm a whole nail tech, and I cannot find a cuticle pusher. Okay, oh, I did find one. Success. Okay. Thank y'all for being patient and great. Oh, man, I told y'all I wasn't prepared. Alright, so I'm going to do the che this the cheapest, like it's the easiest way. So I'm going to just push back because, again, I'm just going to try and peel these off. But I do want this kind of together. It's just because this has grown out. My epinichium has started growing, like, on my nail plate. So I want to kind of, you see, like literally push that back. And that's about it. If I can find some cuticle oh, nippers. just cut off like these this little piece just so oh I caused this the other day just so it looks a little better and together but again if I was doing this like for long-term wear I probably would do a better job not probably I would do a better job Oh, let me get in the frame, you yeah. So I'm just nipping anything like egregious. So what y'all up doing? I'm obviously bored. Okay, so if y'all don't know, it was just my birthday. And, um. I've been eating these peach rings. My boyfriend got me these. It was a four and a half pound bag. Okay. I put on Instagram, they got me this. And I was like, we're not going to eat all this. Oh. 
Don't y'all know? We have almost ate all that. They're so good. They're the best peach rings. Okay, I'm gonna clip this. Cause that's just offensive. I'm gonna spray this again. Again, I'm not doing a perfect and professional job here. I'm just trying to see how this works. But I want it a little nice so I can take a nice picture, right? I do not... Um, I have an air purifier. I've had one in the room, but I don't do acrylic anymore. Acrylic is not where it's at for me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not. Um, so I don't feel the need to buff with this for whatever reason. Oh, let me clip this because I want it to come off anyway. Okay, so these are kind of look, gonna look crazy. So this is the UNT ready for takeoff. Um, and it is a regular polish, it doesn't cure, it air dries, so. Let me put on a glove on this hand. And please, like nitrile gloves are the way to go, latex gloves will dissolve and then some people are allergic to latex more than you'll see somebody allergic to nitrile and um what's the other kind of glove vinyl gloves oh my god they're stiff and they will dissolve too with like acetone not as quick as latex will but nitrile gloves don't um have that problem am i in frame okay right here top of the Oh, I burnt my finger earlier. But I got one of those, um, those ninja, like, air fryer grills. My mom got me one for my birthday. Oh, and I've just been using that up. I made burgers and roasted potatoes. I crisped up some fries, like, we got some fries to go. And I, um... Now, I don't know if the lady from the last video is here, but she recommended two coats. So, I'm going to let this dry for a second and then do a second coat. But, yeah. I got the Ninja Foodie Grill for my birthday. And I like it. And I recommend it. 10 out of 10 recommend. So, I'm letting this dry. I may have, should have polished this thinner. That's not a proper sentence. I may have, should have. I'm actually going to polish this, polish polish this closer to the cuticle area just so I have a somewhere to kind of get up under it um yeah I'm still I'm still losing weight I just kind of took a break for my birthday and Thanksgiving it comes so close together so just kind of like my birthday was this past Saturday so probably from like Thursday I kind of got a little better on Monday is today Tuesday today's Tuesday I kind of got a little better just to kind of keep some of the calories down. Still been having cheap things, things I wouldn't normally eat on a daily. But I went real bad on, like, Friday and Saturday. Kind of bad the other days. Probably going to go. I think I think my boyfriend's going to fast tomorrow. He fasts usually once a week. Um, but I think he's going to fast tomorrow in preparation for... um. 
Thanksgiving food. Thank you guys. Thank you. My boyfriend, he, oh, he's the sweetest man on earth. He's not here. But he did this because, I mean, we take, you know, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you know, I take quarantining and the pandemic very seriously. So we are people who like good food. Um, this pandemic kind of helped us, like, control, like, our intake of food. Um, just cause we were all always at somebody's steakhouse. Um, we were out of control. Honestly, I'm, I'm always with somebody's truffle butter and macaroni and cheese and bread. <laughs> um, but you know, we just set us some goals with the pandemic. Like, man, we're going to take this time to be better and learn things and become more knowledgeable and, things like that so um I there was a steakhouse that I really loved really nice steakhouse that I really loved and my mom actually tried to get me to go last year for my birthday but they didn't have any reservations and she felt so bad and I felt so bad because she felt so bad and I'm like oh mom it's okay <laughs> and um so this year I don't even know how um he was able because our um car my engine went out on my car y'all oh that's devastating oh the engine i have to replace the whole engine <laughs> but i'm like i decided to not even get it fixed because we just walk everywhere anyways like i told you we walk three five six miles a day there's a store in like a mile so it's just like i don't know it's good for exercise and it's like you know why why even spend all that money from something i don't even need to be going anywhere anyway if that if that makes sense like again we're trying we're, we take this very seriously we only go essential places literally to get food and to put gas in the car <laughs> and that's it to get groceries and that's that's literally it we haven't been anywhere besides that so i'm just like we get groceries delivered anyway um, we were kind of going out for groceries, but I'm like, let's just get them delivered. And if we want to go somewhere, we walk, but it's just, you know, making priorities. Like I'm not sad about it. Technically I could get it fixed. Um, no, we have not been tested like for COVID. We have not been tested for COVID or any antibodies. Uh, we have been very much locked up <laughs> not to say that you can't get it but we haven't been around anybody um except my mom but when she comes over she her and my sister wear masks the whole time we have the air purifiers in here we take it seriously even though she is really strict about it too but just very just to make sure we're safe she don't want to get us sick we don't want to get her sick we don't go anywhere um, we do go to the gym, but it's private. Um, so only we can be at the gym at one time and they take breaks and you can, um, to clean it and everything like that. I'm just letting this dry and talking to y'all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we take it very seriously. So we just walk places and I kind of like it, I guess until like it gets cold. But we gotta. Um, we want to get bikes and stuff in bike places. I'm very fortunate because it. Um, um, uh, Cause we live in like a. It's just. It looks very nice. There's like a lot, a lot of lakes and greenery. So, and we feel like very, you know, like man, we want to be outside and be connected to, you know, just the earth, Mother Nature, appreciate it. So, anyways. I'm not devastated, but my point is he was able to get this steakhouse dinner here. And he's like, close your eyes. I had a surprise for you. And in our bedroom, he set up this long table, actually a propaganda ta table. He set it up and did this whole spread of like everything I love there. The cream spinach, the truffle macaroni cheese, the filet mignon with the truffle butter. He got me all this truffle things. If y'all don't know, like I love truffle, everything, all the popovers and everything. 
anyways, it was the sweetest thing, right? I'm just I'm just talking about random stuff while this dries. This, that's it. <laughs> so do y'all think um y'all want me to do I think I'm gonna do the coffin extra long for this look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be a four. I'm gonna just size these up real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a four on that one. That's too big. That's too big. Oh, there you go. That's who made the magic happen. <laughs> I'm gonna do an eight right there. Oh, these might be too big for me. What if they're too big? I'm so sad. No, right? A nine. Oh, I'm already pretty sad about it. Cause I think my pinky's gonna be too big. A seven here. Cause what is this? Yeah, I'm gonna say a seven here. I think. See, these look like these could be the same size. But I'm pushing this one down some. Hey. I said hi to you. <laughs> Let's see how the eight feels. I guess it depends on how much gel I put in here. We'll pull out an eight and a nine just to see. Okay, so I'm going to apply these like normal, I guess, with that. I'm gonna buff the inside with my, um, if y'all see me, I reviewed the Melody Susie Sparkle Pro um, e-file. And um, did y'all watch that video with the digital output, whatever this is called, display? <laughs> I said output like I really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But you can use code Tabitha Scott altogether to get a discount on this e-file if you're looking for a really good e-file. Yeah, ain't many people here, honestly. <laughs> Hi, Chile. So I'm going to buff the inside of these. And I love that I can see the speed. The only thing I didn't mention this in the video, it is upside down from how I would work, but I can read upside down because I am an adult. <laughs> so this might be too big, but well, maybe not. So I'm using my cross cut bit and I'm just gonna buff the inside. Y'all told me the numbers would buff out. Oops, look at that. Don't do don't do that. But I'm gonna leave it because I'm too lazy to get another one. But I'm buffing it. Y'all told me the number will buff off. So it seems like so. I'm gonna take it like you should buff it good enough so the number does come off. Maybe that's the indicator to know you buffed it good enough. But I'm just gonna peel these right off, right? I don't know why I'm doing it so good, but let's go. We got two, I was about to say flavors, sizes for them. Okay, let's get into it. I don't have time to dust these off. I'm just blowing. <laughs> okay, 
So I got my little lamp, the Joy Tea lamp. I did a video on this too. I got discount code for this too. But it's not, man, I didn't know how much it cost in the other video and how unprofessional, but I think it's like 20 bucks. Oh, it's kind of amazing, right? Okay, so I think I'm going to take this off and hang it over the edge, kind of. Y'all see? I'm going to hang it over so I can hold my, hold the nail up under here like this and get some light. So that's going to be my style. So I am not a professional. Oh, I can zoom in. Awesome. At Opre. At Opre. Oh, I know I'm supposed to put a base layer first. I know that. And for sure, since these have a very deep c curve i know i need some gel to fill in that space so i'm just gonna apply a thin layer really quick again i polish that peel off base coat like onto my epinicium essentially just so i could get it started when i go to peel them off Is this good? Is this in the screen or where y'all can see it? So I'm just going to cure that in the light. That has a little bit of a heat spike. Okay, that was reading y'all's comments. So I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. And that is right about now. Okay. So I'm going to... And I see people apply these differently. When I first did this, I only seen people fill it back here in this bottom third. But now I see people polishing like the whole thing. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to do it like that. They, I think I should add a little more just because it has such a steep C curve. And we'll see how many times I mess this up before I get it right. How about that? Oh, that kind of looks good. Okay. Oh, hold on. I didn't set my lamp up the way I told y'all. Ah. <laughs> okay. So let's try it again. I think I can do it again. Right? This looks pretty good, right, y'all? It has a little excess, but I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, I think I did it. Pretty good, right? Look. It's pretty good, except there's a little, but it's not even thick under here. It's just a little excess, but it's not like, you see what I'm saying? Like super thick, like I can feel it a lot, but it looks good around the cuticle area, right? Like nice and clean. I mean, never mind. I didn't clean up my cuticles that well, but look at it from the side, like. This is, look, this is how you want your product to be applied. If you apply like a hand cement builder gel acrylic, you want it to start really flush right here and then slowly incline to your apex. That's a pretty good application, if I say so myself. I think I did it pretty straight for what my thumb looks like. Huh, okay. So we're going to try the pointer and I didn't know, see, the thing is, is if you take one of these and you press it out a lot, it's going to want to still 
snap back this way so i see some people like oh they're very painful it's like you should try to go a size up so it, you don't have to i don't know what you're saying faces by chanel so you see from this to fit from left to right i don't have to push it down as much but this smaller size to get it to fit from left to right i can but i have to press it down much more and so it feels like gripped like this, like my fingers being gripped like that. So I'm gonna go with a bigger one and kind of fill it up with more gel. How about that? Mm. Now I see this getting more difficult the more nails I do. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start my lamp. Get it going. And I'm gonna start back here. Oh, I'm not doing it right. Okay, I'll swipe it and try again. Actually, I think I don't have enough because I'm having to press it too hard, so I don't think I have enough gel so i'm gonna add a little bit just through the center actually let's try it again i'm gonna wipe this around my cuticle area we kind of flooded that say I'm gonna give up just that fast <laughs> oh. okay let's try again I still think I need a little more through the center oh. okay this I, is already like deformed a little bit i did that pressing it too hard with the e-file oh hi in jamaica my boyfriend's jamaican yeah if y'all didn't get that already okay i'm curing it how it is we're going to peel these off anyways, right? All right. But again, it's, um, like the, there's nothing an e-file can't fix. Once it's all together, it's, it's gel. This is a gel tip. This, these are not plastic if you're not familiar. Okay. So this was not as successful, but not bad. Okay. So you see where I, I pressed too hard and made this lift up. I'm just going to take the e-file and smooth that back out, taper it back down so it looks like this. And so that's a pretty simple fix. This finger is crooked. The nail bed is crooked for me, so I tried to adjust accordingly. It goes this way. So I kind of turn it so, it, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so we have two down. It's, it's pretty fast to me because after this, we don't have to shape, just kind of, you know, clean this up and we can go straight to design. How fun is that? And I'm going to put a little extra. They say put extra because of the C curve so you can fill in that empty space with more gel. I'm going to turn on my lamp and get that ready. I think that one did pretty good. I'm gonna cure it.
Okay, I kind of hit my hand down here, y'all. So I had a little difficulty, but I still think it's pretty good. Right? Yeah, that's pretty good. There's just excess down here, but again, it's not a big lip or anything. But, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, you know what that is? I'm so... The peel-off base coat. So, this already started to peel off. But it's good that I know it's going to peel off, so... Oh, you know what I also did? Is I mixed these two up. This is supposed to be on this one. Dang. Okay. Let's see. I will... Oh, it peeled right off. Oh, wow. Okay, that's this video. <laughs> I was wondering why that one, I was like, man, I do not remember sizing it that tight. <laughs> so make sure you keep your tips in order. I'm going to repolish this one. But did y'all see how cool that was? <laughs> I just make a happy mistake, y'all. That's it. So this was the size of the pinky. I'm gonna just do the pinky for now. How about that? But you know what happened? Why it peeled off so easily? Because it was the smaller one. It was that, you know how I told you about this one? If you have it too small, it's going to want to pinch. So when I applied it, and as soon as I touched it, it pinched, it was pinching so hard because it was the smaller one for this finger. It pinched, it was so, it was pulling so hard and pinching, it kind of lift the um, the peel off base coat up. It was pinching so hard, but it didn't really, it was much easier to take off than those glue tabs. If you watched my last video, the glue tabs were more difficult to take off. It didn't, it didn't hurt like that. I mean, you could feel the pressure, the tension, but it's nothing that made me feel uncomfortable. So, um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm doing the pinky. Okay. So let's do this pinky. I'm gonna get my little light on and be prepared. Sorry if I'm missing your comments. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm going in the light, y'all. So what you can do, which I don't have time to do or don't want to do, is brush this underneath, like the excess that comes up, brush it. Again, this is kind of more flesh. It's not a big, it, it's not as thick as it looks like under here. <laughs> it looks like it's like this big overhanging glob. It's not. But um, if you, before it cured all the way, if you had the hands, especially it'd be easier on a client for me. But um, you could brush it, kind of smooth it out. But I'm not worried about it. No, I never tried the Kiara Sky. They don't have as many shape options. And I'll pray was, you know, I'm a loyalist, you know. Again, I've... Uh, they, don't, they don't have this long length in the Kiara Sky. Okay. So we got those. And let's do this middle finger carfuffle. Okay, this is the one that's supposed to go on the middle finger. Oh. 
And let's put extra through here. And I always tell you it's like a learning curve to kind of eyeball how much, but. Oh, I didn't put the base gel on that one. Y'all think I need to? I don't think so. The base layer of the gel. Oh, I think that's good. Oh, my light turned off. Yeah, this one is much easier to apply than the first one. I should have known the first one was too small. Yeah, I'm holding my end of my lamp. It's off the edge of my table, so I'm sorry I'm out of screen. I will be back. We have a little heat spike with that. Okay. Boom. And then we need the size eight. Where is it? Right. Or do we want a size seven? Let's see. Yeah, these are the extra long coffin from Opre. Did y'all watch my last video where I showed y'all the size difference? I feel like a lot of y'all were there for that. I don't know. I feel like I kind of like the seven, but then I also like the eight. I think the eight's too, too small, but kind of. I'm gonna go with the eight, whatever. You can always like taper these in if you need to. If you're like in between sizes, again, I'm feeling like laziness. Yeah, the new black box. I'll show you, I had the old black box. And just be cautious with this one again i showed y'all i pressed too hard when i was buffing it and made this i pressed down with my e-file and it made this lip up i'm like i can e-file it back down but just be cautious and aware to not do that so let's i'm gonna paint in both sides and then i'm gonna add some down the middle and then some around the Lip. Let me turn my lamp on and get that ready to go. All right, I got a little air bubble in there, but it will be okay. I mean, y'all know I'm trying to peel these off, but even if I wasn't, unless I'm doing something clear, that one little air bubble would be fine for me. And we are like 40 minutes into a video. And I have this whole, well, I have one hand done. But if I wasn't like BSing and stuff and didn't mess up and wasn't trying to let a peel off base coat air dry, I could probably have both hands done or close to both hands done in this time. This is so, like I, it, this would take me forever to sculpt a nail like this and get it filed and shaped to this degree that's just me being honest i have a file somewhere i'm just going to knock the um the tab off of these i'm gonna hold them because i have the peel off base coat i don't want it the pressure to take it off i probably could have and should have done this beforehand but here we are. I don't know what time it is. It's probably real late. But I can't sleep. I had too much peach ring candy today. Probably. 
Okay, so I'm just getting these. Okay. So that's that. We have a set of nails, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so, right, that's good. So when you're doing designs, they tell you to wipe them off with acetone. So let me go, sorry, I didn't have everything prepared. Let me go get some acetone and uh, something. I'll be right back. Y'all talk to each other, I'll be right back. Back y'all, I'm getting crystals, some gel colors, maybe. Got my katana, some acetone. Let me get a nude. everything I need but we'll see so I'm gonna use this and I'm going to wipe the nails down with some acetone man I'm gonna get in trouble for making this so dirty. I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared to do this. I just decided that I wasn't sleepy after I did my last video, so y'all can't be mad. So I'm gonna wipe these with the acetone. Oh, I said I was going to file this down. Let me be a woman of my word. I'll sleep. I'll have the video up. You can just fast forward it. And I'm going to come around here and taper that down. Y'all see? So that little silly lip up that was there is not there anymore. And we got it nice and tapered. Again, I'm not looking for this to be perfect because I'm going to peel it off. But yeah. 
So I'm going to just wipe them all with the acetone. And supposedly what that does, well, not supposedly, because these are soft gel, it kind of makes this top layer not shiny and um, kind of dissolves just the surface of it. So um, so let's see if I can function and get things. <laughs> I am going to be using this foil. Dang it, I meant to get a coordinating color. I don't think that's like matching enough. Right? Mm, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. So, and I got this nude. I'm gonna use like for the base of the nail. I could have tapered this these down around the cuticle area more. But hey. So I think I'm gonna do it like not a shaped like straight across right there. So I'm gonna just do this like this. I'm just thinking as I go. I'm just making this up as I go, guys. So Y'all are just watching me do that. <laughs> and I'll be using some um, foil gel. Um, Daily Charm has some really good foil gel. That's not the one I will be using today. But if you're in the market for one that you can get right now, you definitely can get it from Daily Charm. But there are some other good brands out there. I just haven't used them or had the need to, I guess. Okay. So, I'm going to actually use this as a base color. So, if there's any places where the foil doesn't transfer, we don't have just blankness. This is such a vibrant color. I don't even know if it portrays on camera correctly as to how vibrant it is. I'm trying to make this straight, but I'm shaky. Ah, look at that. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, we're going to cure this kind of straight line. Oh, y'all can see how many people are watching? Awesome. When you go back and watch lives, you can't see the comments, right? Like, if you watch this video tomorrow, you won't be able to say the, see what people commented. I never know how to do that. Okay, so we did this, and this doesn't really have a tacky layer. If it did, I probably would wipe it off before I applied foil gel, but that's just me. So I'm applying the foil gel. Well, that's kind of crazy, because then you don't know the questions people ask, like if you're watching this in the future. I guess I should read them and answer them. Okay. All right. Let's cure that. Okay. Well, hmm. let me get this foil ready. And I recommend, well, at least with the well, like the Daily Charm one, after you cure it for the recommended time, I always let it air dry for like a minute at least after that. And it kind of helps it transfer like very beautifully. 
I'm going to put a lid on my acetone. And I'm, I'm curing this for 60 seconds, so bear with me, guys. Hopefully this won't be too long for people to watch in the future. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna try and see which part. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it, right? Mm, I kinda want another part though. Just, mm, right here. Is it long enough? Yeah. Okay, great. That came out right. I should have put two coats of the nude so it's not as see through through this part. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some stones through here so this doesn't have to be the cleanest line and you probably won't be able to tell as much with the stones but y'all know y'all know I'll tell y'all if I do something janky okay These are the extra, extra, here you go. No, they're not extra, extra. Extra long coffin, Opera Gillette. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this with a no white top coat just to preserve it before I put stones and stuff. I'm gonna do stones last, so I'm gonna get the base designs to all the nails done first. And you see that foil didn't transfer 100% right there, but we have that coordinating color. Again, I wish it matched a little more. Oh, it didn't transfer right here either. But you see why having like a coordinating color helps, especially with a design like this. If I, pro I mean, probably like on a client, where I had two hands and could do it better, I could have got it, you know, transferred better. Or a set that I was trying to care more about. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I kind of flash cured that. So we have that. I'm thinking, I have an idea for this one. I'm gonna do this one solid nude. And I'm gonna do like a trail of like the marble through it. Hopefully that makes sense. I need to get another bottle. This is like one of the best like nude colors that portrays like I don't know. Maybe on camera it doesn't look good. But it's the one that'll probably trick me the most in thinking like it's a actual like acrylic or builder gel. You know how usually you can tell when it's polished nude opposed to the nail being built from a nude, if that makes sense. Okay. 
especially if I um clean up the cuticle area it looks kind of bulky back there so it doesn't camouflage it well but this is such a good nude so I'm gonna do two coats of this Okay, let's just go. Again, if you're doing this for serious wear, use that e-file and taper around the cuticle area better so it doesn't look as bulky. But again, I'm just trying to do this fast and because I'm awake. I'm fixing to have some peach rings. Boop. So excuse the crumbling sound. The bag sounds. I hope it's not too loud. So I'm gonna run the foil. Mm -mm. Actually, I almost made a mistake. I'm gonna top coat this so it's not sticky. Just real quick. Can y'all hear me chewing? Oh, I'm so sorry. So I know some people don't like um chewing sounds <laughs> and some people do <laughs> I'm telling you though you this is a four and a half pound bag I like it with the water okay so now this isn't tacky and the reason I wanted to ensure that because I'm going to put the um foil gel on here and I want to kind of do it kind of can y'all see like this pattern like just through hopefully this won't translate I just thought about this I thought maybe it might look cute maybe it won't we're gonna find out together let's see I'm gonna cure that for a full 60 Yeah, this foil is so pretty. I'm gonna eat more pinch rings if they didn't bother you. I'm sorry, it's curing for 60 seconds, so. Okay, so let's try this. I'm trying to think what's the best. I kind of want the pattern to kind of flow with the direction I did it. You know what I'm saying? I guess it kind of don't matter, but kind of do. Okay, let's go. Just try my best, y'all. Yeah. 
hopefully this comes out how I envision it. I thought about going around the edge with like gold or something. Again, around the edge with some gold. Oop, that transferred onto my skin. But whatever. Alright, y'all get what I was trying to do? Y'all get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> this is what we have so far. And I think I'm going to do one solid... I'm gonna do the pointer just solid. I know, I'm sorry, that's a throwaway, but. This is hard to polish so, so long on my own hand because I, I can't anchor it because it's so long like I try to anchor my hand down here but it's kind of hard y'all shout out to y'all that be doing their own nails this long okay I'm adding a base of that again so if we have any place it doesn't transfer, it won't show. What do y'all think I should do to the the ring finger and the pinky? That's what I was thinking about too, some gold flakes. And foil. So I'm gonna do and paint this solid with the foil gel. I think gold, some gold flags. Only Miss B gave me an idea. Bling the pinky, like solid, like full bling. Oh Lord. I'm trying to figure out the best space of the design that I want. Okay, whatever, we'll do it. I 
Okay, so applying foil on somebody else is much easier because I need to get the tension from left to right and stretch it so it can be as smooth as possible. It's kind of hard for me to do it on myself, especially with nails this long, and especially because I have that peel-off base coat. I don't want to put too much tension on there and pop this whole nail off right now. Um, so, but I'm still just going to work it side to side and get it as close to the edge as possible. Um, when you're doing foils, if you can not have it to the very, very exact edge, it, you're, you're probably going to get better wear. But sometimes it's kind of hard not to just because of the look you're going for. Okay, this looks pretty good. I didn't polish it all the way on that side. And sometimes you'll get it like this where it'll hang. And usually acetone will dissolve it real nice. But we'll just have to put some stones there or something. You gotta use less product to not flood your cuticle area with polish. And do your hand this way. Always, when you're applying product, try to keep the hand down so that gravity will take the product down. So a lot of people I see polish this way polish this way but put your um, product start it further down the nail like here and then kind of brush it down and then when some of the product has been removed kind of scoot it up some but don't push a whole bunch of product back there I see some people push product back there okay so this is what we have so far we have this which is going to come together and be cute i feel like it the full nail super cute this one okay we have these last two and somebody said gold flakes y'all have to wait right here and i have to see if i can find my gold flakes really fast Hear me up. What do y'all think of this? It has, it's the gold flakes. Ah, okay. Ah, y'all see this? This is cute. This is what I want to use. All right. So, I'm going to go around this edge with some foil glue. right i never had the most like perfect the color goes so great i think this gold flake with the like if you want to use transfer foil especially one that's full image a foil gel is going to give you the best um transfer if you use a an air dry foil glue it's going to give you an inconsistent look most of the time and that's good for if you want to do like an abstract haphazard foil design with like usually solid foils but if you're there's an image you want to transfer and look like an actual image you're probably gonna want a foil gel 
Okay. Let's try this. I don't want this to be kind of not nice and clean, kind of messy and haphazard. This is, I've had this foil for such a long time and this is probably the perfect like design set. I kind of wish I would have did these more seriously, right? <laughs> Like, cleaned up my cuticle area more. Right, this is coming together. If I gotta, I don't wanna toot my own horn, but. looking cute y'all see what i was trying to do with the little stream of it i'm gonna push this down make sure it's flat Yeah, I'm gonna leave the negative space for sure. I'm just kinda, again, making this kind of feel random. I kinda don't like this with the, the gold fleet. I have to get my air quotes for y'all. The gold leaf that's supposed to be in there, so I'm kinda gonna cover it up. <laughs> And I'm going to add just some in the design a little more just to kind of bring it together. And I'm just going to smooth that down. And I'm going to call this nail done. I haven't decided if I want a shiny or matte, but we're going to call it done for now. Right? Doesn't that look like regal? <laughs> so I'm going to cover these with this. Right, right. I keep on telling y'all, right? And I'm gonna just put the foil gel over these areas to cover it. I'm just kind of just blotting it over. Probably a little right there, but mostly these big areas. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the light. What y'all talking about? Okay, so if you can use a thick top coat, if you're having a problem with foil peeling, okay, there's two main tips I can tell you. Um, three. Um, one, like I said earlier, if you can avoid design-wise applying it to the very edge, definitely try to. Again, like if I had a better... Oh, my internet. Oh, no, my phone. Sorry, my phone. Ah. It's low power. Okay, so if you can avoid applying it to the very edge, that'd be perfect. If I had like a even better coordinating color, this isn't the exact color. You could leave like like a half, like a millimeter, just so nothing has a chance to get right there. So it's completely sealed over with top coat, like tucked in, if that makes sense. Um, so on a client, I probably wouldn't do this. I'd probably make sure I had a better color match. So if I avoided the very slightest edge, you wouldn't be able to tell. My second tip is before you apply your foil, glue is to buff the nail. 
so you can ensure that that glue is having a really good adhesion um, with the whatever's under it, the color under it. And then lastly, I would either top coat twice, but if you have like um, uh, the rubber, oh yeah, gel bottle inks rubber top coat is an amazing thing that you need to have. If you can purchase it, um, definitely get it. I would top coat after this, like say I'm just leaving the nail like this, I would top coat it with the gel bottle ink rubble top, rubber top coat, cure that, and then I would apply my whatever my favorite top coat at the time is. And then I do it like that. Make sure you get around these edges nice and good. But if you can find a way to work it out where the design, again, is like this kind of haphazard, random, um, and you don't have to put it on the very edge, you know what I'm saying? Do that. But, you know, that's not always a part of the design plan. Yeah, right? Because I kind of want to see this somewhere on here. Let's decide. Let's see how late it is. Okay, so I'm going to apply this foil leaf right over what's supposed to be the gold on here. Just because I like that better. Yeah, the rubber top coat is also um, really great for holding crystal pixies. That's probably the best thing that I've used that holds the uh, crystal pixies. If you're ever curious about those. So I'm just applying this over... what's supposed to be gold on here. I put a little extra over here because I felt like I wanted some gold over here. I like that much better than the fake gold. But I kind of like using it as a template. You know what I mean? And when you're applying your gold leaf, I urge you to not let it... Unless it's something you're doing, but don't let it... um be too straight like the edges like there you're not gonna find like a very straight edge in the middle of a organic design like this you know what i'm saying so i try and let it be again as like natural and whatever the word is as possible okay I think that's cute, right? Right. I love, I love that I could only find this foil. <laughs> I'm going to do the same for this nail. Apply some right here. And I'm going to apply some just right, a little extra just to make sure it has some. The Bob Ross sounds. Okay, so I'm at a point where I don't know if I want um, base coat other than the default Opry one. Um, you talking about the Extend Gel from Opry has Hema in it? Honestly, uh, I don't know. You could use another builder gel instead of this, though. I've tried it before. It works. So, I don't know another brand that doesn't have it, per se. Not that they're not out there. That's not what I'm saying. But I just don't know off the top of my head. But if you stumble across one, you can use it with the Opre system. Or if you have a brand that you prefer in general, you can use it. They probably don't recommend it. and probably don't want me to tell you that. But I have used it with success. If you don't have six, you know, you just try it out, of course. Try anything out. Okay. Let's put some little gold bits on here. I'm just blotting it wherever I remember putting that gold at. And then I'll just rub off the excess.
Boom. All right. And brought it together. I feel. I think we're really doing something here, guys. <laughs> So, I think, I think I'm going to do as they suggested and do the pinky, like the thumb, just for time's sake. Just so this video is not too, too long. But I do have some cute stones that might go with this. These won't go. These have too many other colors. I want these to go, but the blue is not deep enough in here. It's not vibrant enough. Oh, I think these are cute with it, too. Telling y'all, right? <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm thinking about a full bling now just because I have some good crystal matches. Always double top coat the foil just to give yourself the best chance, even if you don't have, you know. The proper okay all right I'm gonna do this bling now if y'all want me to do this bling now y'all have to go on my other channel with my boyfriend and tell him why I was up so late go and leave a comment over there and say she was up doing nails <laughs> <laughs> with us He don't be wanting to snuggle and it's probably cold. <laughs> okay. For real, one of y'all better say it. Y'all better have my back like that. <laughs> So what I think I'm going to do, I don't know how this would wear in real life, honestly. See, thank you. Thank you, Kicking It McQueen. 
but I'm going to put this behind because y'all know I like to put coordinating colors behind my stones to ensure that it, you know, brings it together. So what better to do than this? Right? Oh, that's his whole style. <sighs> you don't even know why you're mad huffing in your sleep. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna put the foil and see what you can do is wipe that very edge to kind of keep it from getting on there. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. I'm trying to keep up. Okay, so I put the foil glue. I don't know where y'all at in the conversation, but I put the foil glue. I'm about to put the foil. And I'm gonna do this behind my bling nail so that it's coordinated. Okay, and this don't have to be perfect. I'm gonna take a good mix of everything. I just hope this comes out cute. so hard hurt myself oh didn't do that good enough well it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna blink it anyway that was pretty good pretty, pretty good Okay, that's gonna be the base for our bling. We're gonna go ahead and do the, get the pinky going, like the thumb. And so, I like to bling last. I do not wanna be polishing no more nails after I start doing crystal work. this bling nail comes together sometimes the bling nail can be good in theory but when you put it on it's just not a thing yes i cured the glue before i put the foil on yeah this new color this is one of my favorites this is like a must-have Okay, if you want to know something, that's, this is a must have. This is going to give you uh, the best, I said it earlier, like the best nude. It, it can look like the nail is built from it. It's just something different about usually when you polish a nude and when you build the nail from a nude acrylic or a nude builder gel. But this has like enough sheerness to it. Um to make it look like it can be a nail color and it's great my phone is on night mode so it looks more yellow to me but this is such a beautiful nude right i'm gonna do two coats i'm gonna still do it very light Thank you, it's coming together, right? I was worried for a second. And then we're gonna use 
these with them. I'm gonna use this on the middle finger for sure. The half and half one. Okay, so I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm not curing everything probably as properly as I should. But just so we can get to the bling. So I'm putting a no wipe top coat. Because this builder, I mean this builder, this is gel polish is has a tacky finish so when I do this design I don't want it completely transferring so Okay, let me make sure. Oh, girl, my nail room is a mess. This table that I'm working on, again, it's my propaganda table for my other channel. Oh, and it's a mess. My regular dust is such a mess. It's because I'm. I keep on using the excuse I moved. I moved not too long ago, but I never had a reason to really like. I don't know, cause I'm not taking clients. <laughs> And we use this room. I have a whole separate office. And we use this room for um working out. Um, like yoga. Um and other art things that we do. So there's like buckets of just art things around. Paintings and etc. <laughs> I'm gonna swing this over some. Oh yeah, I'm only doing one hand. And I'm gonna pop this off, so. Okay. Y'all are here, there's a lot of people here at this hour. I'm so impressed and grateful. Like, I don't think I've had this many people at a regular hour. <laughs> but at least I know I'm not doing it in vain. How about that? Now people are leaving. Now that I acknowledge them. <laughs> so many. <laughs> so fast. Because <laughs> I've seen them. Look, it's still going down. That's so funny. They're still going. <laughs> Oh, I'm eating peach rings. Okay. So we cured that. Again, I'm going to try to go with the flow because it's going this way. I'm going to try to get it going this way, if that makes sense. Ah, oh, they're so long. Oh, yeah, a lot of y'all don't have work tomorrow. Yay, because of Thanksgiving. I know some people do. foil gel 
around the edge of this, just like the on the thumb. We'll just close it and open it. Thank you to whoever recommended this. It's a great way to do a simple design with great impact. Plus, I was kind of sad because I thought it was real cute on the thumb. And you know you don't always get thumbs in the pictures. At least I don't. I don't even like thumbs like that. Sometimes I hate, like, some people will get cute stuff on their thumbs. And I'm like, man, why did you do that? Like, put that on a finger that's going to show. Because y'all know, especially, specifically for me on, like, Instagram, a lot of my pictures, I don't put the thumbs in. A lot of people can't pose their hands right. And I don't have the patience. And I don't want to inconvenience. I always feel like I'm inconveniencing somebody. Asking to take a picture. When I teach my one-on-ones, I tell people, don't, you know, ask them. I mean, I ask them. A lot of people want to, but it's just like beyond that, I don't want to inconvenience you anymore. But like, oh, your hand poses aren't good enough for me. Oh, please don't blink out a thumb. Please don't draw nothing on the thumb. Okay, so I'm going to cure that, and I'm going to put this foil you don't need like foil glue for this type of foil and i hope i don't confuse anybody for like the leaf the gold leaf i wouldn't call this foil for confusion for the leaf you can put it on like a tacky the tacky layer of a gel um or even wet you can put wet gel Okay, let's do it. Okay. I still haven't decided shiny or not. And we are just adding this and going to rub off the excess. I think that's cute, what do y'all think? Okay, I think y'all think it's cute too. <laughs> so that's it done. Put this away, I'm so glad. And I can put away the polishes and stuff. Get to the bling of it all. Okay, so that's top coated. This is not top coated. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat these. Oh snap, that's matte top coat. Dang. I didn't decide if I wanted these matte or not. But if I wipe it, it's going to be bad. Mm. That was a foul on my part. Um. Huh. I don't know. We'll see about that. I kind of wiped it off a little bit. <laughs> I accidentally started polishing the matte top coat. I for sure want to do it shiny now. Just to seal it in.
I'll make sure this is make sure this leaf is smoothed down. Again, I need to order it. The rubber top coat from Gel Bottle Ink is a beautiful top coat for stuff like this. Because essentially it encapsulates, but it's a soft gel, so you can use it over other soft gels, but it's very durable. Oh. And I'm going to top coat our bling nail. Let's get it all locked in. Okay. We're gonna cure that, which I'll say. Let me scroll up. Glossy, glossy. <laughs> Shiny. I like the contrast of matte with bling. Yeah. I'll have it up tomorrow if you want to watch it. Oh, this set? I don't know. Psst, I ain't even gonna act like I know off the top of my head. Just because it's a Gel X set. Mm, I don't know. And also, my prices, if and when I do start taking clients, my prices are gonna be up, up, up. Just because there's still gonna be risk. You know, even with the vaccine, everything like that, there's still going to be risk. Can I even get my hand? Like, these are so long. I don't know if I can even get it all in here. Okay, let me get a buffer real quick, y'all. One second. final stretch so I'm going to buff this this has been top coated oh look at that womp, womp, womp. <laughs> but you know what we'll do that's because of the peel off base coat so it peels off <laughs> But now I could take it off and do this. How should we adhere this back on? Let's think. Maybe I'll use those tabs because those are really strong. Y'all see that nail just come off? Right? And it's just a little peel off. But it works. This is great for like doing nail art for y'all guys. Do y'all appreciate this? Because without it, I would not be doing it right now. I can assure you. Because I could not walk around with nails this freaking long. Yep, we'll do it like that. Because this was real strong earlier. Heck, I probably should have just did them like this. <laughs> but I wanted to do the application I did. Okay, if y'all didn't know, I put a peel-off base coat, so this did not pop off because this was properly applied gel x there is a peel off base coat that we're trying out
Okay. I was using my e-file and I'm tapering because it's real bulky now because I put that glue tab underneath of it so I tried to taper it down some but y'all know what's going on here we're good so we buffed that and I'm going to apply stones back here just because it looks so janky and be light through the center of this for sure. And I'm gonna leave these like, I'm gonna be using um, a nail supply glamour glue. And let me open this up. Uh, why did y'all do this to me? How am I supposed to open this? Uh. That's the best I had. Did I even want to use the triangle one? I did not. I felt like I wanted to use the square one. Or the circle one. Which shape y'all think? The circle? No. The triangle? I, in my head, I was going to use the rectangular one. I think I'm going to go rectangle. Y'all want to try? Okay, the triangle. <laughs> I already opened it up anyways. Okay. So, I'm going to just wing it. I just know I want this. <laughs> So I'm going to apply a good amount of that. Let me clean my katana off. Okay. So, bam. This is how we're starting, and I think it's a good start. And I'm just going to go from there, see what feels right. I think that's not good, right? I got the micro beads out here. I know I'm gonna go across this somehow just to camouflage that line. Hmm. Let's see if I do so many things. Oh, let me get in camera. Just going with the flow, guys. Oh, let me get back in screen. Do I want this?
We're going for it. What do y'all think so far? Do y'all hate this gold with it? It kind of brings these like brown tones in from here, but I don't think it's that brown. I think I'm gonna switch to Aurum. I didn't give y'all a chance to answer. See, sometimes you gotta see it on there to know. Oh yeah, definitely better, right? Yeah, that's better. I'm just winking it, guys. I'm just seeing what feels right. put beads, put beads out to put it. I feel like that's going to make it. I'm just going to pour them in here. Pick up a little glue. Oh yeah, these are going to set it off. As what I was telling y'all earlier, it's like when you put the eyeliner and the lashes and the mascara isn't that cute that's coming together I think caviar beads are a must, and I've, I've told this story before, but when I first started doing nails, matter of fact, if you think I'm lying, you can go back to like one of my first, I think my very first picture, if not one of my first few pictures on Instagram, and I tried with them caviar beads back then, but they didn't stay because I only knew to use resin. And crystal glue wasn't really a thing then. Some people did use, like, builder gel to hold crystals, but I didn't really understand it. It wasn't familiar. So they don't last. Beads will not last with a traditional resin. Not anyone that I've ever come across. And it does. it's not even logical for it to... But we're getting, this is kind of moving a little bit. So I'm just going to push it back. Can I put a stone? I'm trying to make sure it's identical. This is looking cute, right? Not because I did it, but just because it's looking cute. <laughs> I kind of think I want it right in there or no it's kind of be hard to get out by now gotta commit <sighs> but let's see if we like a bead down here maybe a stone with a bead how about that That's looking cute. Now I'm almost sad they're gonna pop off. Tss. What color? I think I'm gonna do a blue one. Down here. I'm just picking up some 
glue with my katana that's already on my nail. And I'm going to echo that triangle by making these last little beads a triangle shape just to kind of get some cohesiveness going on. And I think this is good. I'm going to take a second to move these around and get it in line because this gel is getting a little warm so it's kind of moving on me. I would say I probably like the Daily Charm one better, but this is cheaper. I think they both hold the same. But as far as like viscosity while doing designs, I would have to say I like the Daily Charm one because it doesn't move as much. What do y'all think? Do y'all hate the bottom part? Is this even? That's good as I can get it, and I'm gonna put it in the light before it slides around anymore. I'm gonna just flash cure it for like 10 15 seconds. Boom, look at that, right? Amazing. I'm gonna just do some quick cuticle bling. Just because this is uneven with a transfer and just to camouflage that. The question, oh, I hit my head on my phone thingy. <laughs> What color do you want as the center? I'm gonna go with gold. Now this this is a this is like one of my go-to designs when I can't think of nothing. I've done this a million times. I just start with a bigger the biggest stone, next size down, next size down, next size down. But it's always cute, right? I never get tired of it. And I alternate with the colors. So gold, blue, another gold. And then another blue, if I'm using multiple colors. And I'm using this blue. I don't think I use these at all, so I'm gonna knock those out. Let me blend that. Okay, then we're still gonna use our caviar beads and just put them at the edge of these stones where they meet, top and the bottom. Again, this is always a cute design with... Oh, well. Dang it, I spilled these off camera. That's great. That was what I wasn't trying to do. i to make sure I don't have enough. Yeah, it's Tabitha 5 for Blue Streak. It's Tabitha and then number 5 for Blue Streak Crystals. If you want a discount for them. If you want a discount for Melody Susie for the drill I got, the e-file, it's Tabitha Scott all together. And if you want a discount for Daily Charm, it's Tabitha in the number 10. Wow. 
We're just doing that. Just cute. I think it's regal. It kind of, I don't know, I always think of it like a crown on the nail because it's at the top. Some people think of the cuticle as the bottom, but I guess just because I do nails in the way I always see it from my perspective, it's the top. a little straighter if you can see it's uneven this stone ends way up here and this one's way down here so I'm just going to scoot it all around up and around kind of get these more even Okay, what do y'all think about this? I feel like I want to bring some... I want to bring some beads down. How about that? Yes, I have a code from Madam Glam. It is Tabitha. I think it's just Tabitha. I have it in the description of my videos oh i like that brought bring it down like that just because these colors are like so regal to me so i can make it look more like a crown even better i'm gonna throw that in the light i think it's tabitha or tabitha 30 i can't remember I think it's just Tabitha and it's 30% off. <laughs> I have really been liking this e-file. I got the Sparkle Pro. I just got that one. I have the regular Sparkle from uh, Melody Susie. I've been having that for like a year and a half, two years. And it's worked so good. So, um... I think the Sparkle Pro would be good. I love the screen on it that it tells you. All my peach rings fell. That tells you how fast it's going. Okay, this is what we have so far. And we're doing solid bling on that ring finger, right? I'm sure I'm uh, wasting these Swarovskis for them to be going out of business. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just covering this whole thing. I'll usually use a brush. I mean, not that it's going to do anything different very much, but just to let y'all know. <laughs> so this one looks crazy if you're tuning in. or I These all have peel-off base coat. And um, I was buffing this and it peeled off. <laughs> That's my long story so I took those out so I'm going to be using these colors and doing full bling let's go let me tighten up my katana and y'all wanted this so y'all better stay right here while I bling out this whole nail I shouldn't see I shouldn't, I shouldn't see this live go below 90 people So I'm just going to alternate with these colors. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. Welcome. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to use like the biggest size I'm going to use is like a 12. Because I don't want it to look too clunky. Mm, yeah. I try to be conscious of what colors I'm putting next to each other and everything. I mean, you're going to have some points where they aren't going to touch, but again, I like to spread the colors around when I'm doing something like this. So everybody gets some love. Oh, I think that's going to look cute, y'all. The whole thing blinked. Let's keep on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm alternating sizes, um, filling in whichever size seems appropriate. I think I'm going to put some uh, micro beads in there too. So any blank spaces that we have, blank empty space that we have, I'm going to fill in with those. We're using these various sizes so we can get a nice tight fit. Focus too bad for y'all. Hopefully not. Are y'all here? Are y'all back? My phone lost connection on my internet, did. Or y'all's internet did. How about that? I blame it on y'all. <clears throat> okay. still going I also leave it like this. What? I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> and I recommend when you're doing bling nails, if you can add a crystal that you can have like a size five or a three in there just to make sure you can fill in those spaces or again have the micro beads that would give you a nicer result i think mm. I am kind of thinking about it now. Let's see. Needs to be a gold somewhere in here, right? <laughs> mm.
way I'll think about it like that. But, like... I'm trying to get it to do a triangle shape to kind of bring that triangle over there full circle. And I'm also fill in some of the spaces with the um, gold beads. So trying to get this into a triangle. And fill, I'm filling the gaps first because that's obviously going to move around. Just to make it look real full, right? Look. And y'all help me. Y'all watched me think this out. And y'all helped contribute along the way. Okay, let's start getting the silhouette of this triangle together. Can I make it into a triangle? We don't know. It's a janky looking triangle, but I'm committed. Now I'm committed. <laughs> okay. I'm still here watching me struggle. <laughs> to make press-ons and girl it will shout out to the people that do but I just for the time and how like how much of a perfectionist I am ooh, that's a 
it's almost right. It, it's just it didn't make financial sense for me to spend, you know, hours on one set of press on nails and if I charged you 120 bucks, you'd be like, oh, girl, no. But then really, it'd be worth my time. Because that's how much a client would pay me, you know? And for the Swarovskis and things like that. But again, there's obviously people who can make it worth their time and make financial sense of it. I just personally could not. But see, the thing is, you can watch my videos and figure out how to make your own bomb press on set. Right? This is coming together. I'm getting closer to the silhouette that I want. I'm about to call this good and cure it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, this is y'all's idea. I'm blaming y'all. Okay, I'm curing it. That's it. Okay, so final. Y'all think shiny or matte? Maybe we should paint the thumb matte and see how it looks. Cause it's just the thumb, right? We don't like it no how. Mm, my eyes are starting to burn. These are luxurious. Do y'all think I need another stone up here? Just to like... I kind of feel like I do. Y'all tell me if y'all hate this or not. I'm gonna kind of mirror this. Oops. Do y'all like how that looks up there? I think I like it. I cured it, but did y'all like it? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's like a little bloop. I kind of feel like I did myself shady, like the, the pointer figure doesn't even seem like it needs to be here. But it's like, we're gonna do this. Okay, 
So we're gonna try matte on the thumb. We all decided that as a family. I'm gonna buff it. Just to smooth out any of that foil that may be protruding. We should have um, mushed it down to begin with. I'm using the wrong thing. I was about to use the foil gel as the matte top coat. I use the matte as the shiny. It's about my time, y'all, to go to sleep. Okay, we're gonna see what this looks like, matte. See if I can reach my peach frame. These these are the best peach rings from Albanese. They say world's best, and it, it was my home. Not sponsored. I like this. I kind of like it. Anything matte? This is matte. I don't like the matte with the bling. The bling pop. You're gonna be like, why did you ask us if you're gonna do whatever you want? Let's see how this one looks. How about that? So, what I would normally do is seal in these crystals all beautifully and properly. I'm not going to do that again because these are going to be popped off. I am going to go over these beads and. But if I was to be doing this for a client, for real, myself to wear these nails for real, I would fill in all the space in between the stones and over these gold, over the gold beads, never over the Swarovski crystals, over this gold charm, the metal right here. I'd even go over the turquoise part a little bit just to make sure it's actually set good in the charm. Just seal it in like I would. You see how I'm just going to the edge of that? If this was a Swarovski in here, um, I would do the same thing, but probably wouldn't go as high up, just to make sure I don't kill the shine of the Swarovski. Again, I would go over these beads and seal around these crystals, okay? With the shiny top coat. Um... Even whether I'm doing shiny or matte, let me say that. Always with a shiny top coat so it can be shiny over the gold and stuff. You don't want to matte it out. So I'm going to do matte. I'm going to try it on this one to see how that contrast looks.
Let me see if I can take a screenshot. Put it in the light. Then we're gonna see how it is. Matt. This end up cute, right? With these. Did y'all watch my first video? If you did, I was like, man, I think this would be cute with that foil. And I think it ended up being cute. I'm gonna post these on Instagram tomorrow, y'all. Y'all better like them. I became aggressive in my late night. Y'all better. <laughs> See, I like them out. stone a little do not go on the edge of your stones with matte okay you do not want to seal in crystals with matte top coat the way you would with shiny you want to go you want to outline it but not bump it up to the edge that's why we seal in with shiny so that we ensure that the edge of our stones are still shiny like they're supposed to be because they're crystals we make sure our metal is still shiny and we just outline it as close as possible, but still an outline. Okay. I need a stretch. I'm gonna mess around and do some yoga after this. Do y'all like doing yoga? I definitely recommend it. I love it, especially with my weight loss. To get like some flexibility and make sure because the weight, when you, I feel like when you lose that much weight, like, or have that much weight, I was really, uh, I'm a big girl, you know, I'm still a big girl. Even after losing a hundred something pounds. But your body has to start stressing in certain ways, your joints and stuff to hold that much weight. And I think losing a whole bunch of weight too kind of does something with your joints and stuff. So I love the yoga to be able to keep my joints supple. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Love that. Oh, see, you like the you like the mat now. You see my vision. Y'all ain't talking no more. Y'all must be either sleep or mad because I didn't do them shiny. But it's okay either way. <laughs> now this middle finger is gonna give me the blues. Thank 
queue. Let's do the um the king daddy of all the nails. Let's see how good I can do this without a liner brush or detail brush. These fuzzies. I just need these to be cute enough to take some pictures for Instagram. Do any of y'all know what time it is in Texas? Chicago time. I don't want to mess up my life and look at the time. in your hair it's 2 a.m. oh god y'all I'm telling you I'm supposed to be up walking in a few hours flowers brush forever the striper brush but I kind of think they're different now I got this set and I think I feel like it was just different that's the only one that I've been using from some years ago okay I think I had it good enough with the mat. Hopefully. We'll see. Disconnect at the last moment. I was trying to do the final reveal. But I kind of think I want the nude shiny now. <laughs> right? And we're back. Okay, let's do that. That's a happy medium. I'm going to do the nude part shiny and leave the foil part matte. I think that looks better. And I'm just polishing right back over it.
Are y'all still here? Oh, awesome. Okay, so I did that shiny and I think that looks better shiny. Again, I wish I would have like, again, wearing these for real, tapered down the cuticle area to make that look much more natural. That's kind of why I add that crystal to a little bit camouflage it. But hey, this was fun, I think, either way. And this is almost done curing. I've made the biggest mess. Oh. Okay, yeah, I like that. What do y'all think? Thank y'all for joining me for so long. We kept a good amount of people. A good amount of people. And I really appreciate y'all for doing this with me. Seeing this design come to fruition from start to beginning. The only thing I knew is that I wanted... And I actually didn't want the triangle one. I told y'all I wanted the square one at first. But I like how this came together with this nail. I kind of wish I would have like echoed this y'all know i'll give y'all a full rundown of what i think i did wrong if i had time i wish i would have echoed this like through here just to get that triangle shape or something like down here just kind of free floating and just like free floating crystals right here um i do like the shiny um nail bed um, it kind of makes me want to put these back shiny, <laughs> but you know, whatever. I can always like paint over just the gold leaf and make that shiny. That's tedious, but you know, it's something you can do. And yeah, what do y'all think? I think this is good, especially with some cuticle oil to hide our little flaws. I don't, I'm not a, I don't, I'm not a big, I'm not a fan of that. I don't, um, girl, I can't even think of the words. I don't condone it. <laughs> I don't condone that at all. But just for the sake of good pictures for Instagram, because, you know, people don't understand that these were nails with peel-off base coats and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, this is probably like some hundred some dollar nails that I'm going to pop off. I'm going to end this live and take some pictures to post on Instagram and for the thumbnail. And I'll probably record another video of just me popping these off. So y'all can see. Because I'm not going to be able to do anything with these. So these are going to have to come off tonight. But I'll probably keep them. And then I can use them as um, press-ons if... if I ever want to <laughs> um I should probably get a little box to save them right I always got some little press-ons I made myself I can just use the glue tabs or some super glue not super glue y'all know when you, you nail glue y'all know what I mean and glue these on whenever I feel need be for my propaganda videos you know so I can be talking like this these are cute. This length is nice on my little chubby hands. My little old hands. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I'm going to do that. Take some pictures. And um, turn around and pop these off and record them. But probably not live. Just to do an edited video. So if you want to see how easy or just get a satisfying video of these coming off. Or just support me in a regular video so I can get them views going. Go ahead and check that out. And don't forget to share this with people. Thumbs up. 
and everything. Check out my other channel. Don't forget to y'all check out my other channel. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. I keep on telling y'all and go tell my love I was up doing nails so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> but all right, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all so much. Get some sleep. Bye. Good night.